All right, this is just a quick video to show you a little thing I encountered when my tranny kept getting stuck in gear. As you know, there's this little pin that shifts back and forth and it was getting stuck. I've already fixed it, but I'm gonna take it apart and show you again how it's done. Um, inside here, there's a little ball bearing that comes through, let me see if I can find it here, comes through right here, and what it does is it presses against the notches on the switch. So when it's going back and forth, it presses making, you know, connection. And all that does is it just kind of locks the gear in place. I'm going to show you really quick how you can adjust that. First, you want to take this apart. And this is the, the here's the same little piece that comes back and forth. So I'm going to take this all apart very quickly. And you can see here, and you can see here the two notches uh, that's in here. There's one right here and one right here. That's your high and low gear settings. And what it does is there's a bearing that presses against that and locks it in place so it doesn't come out while you're driving. Well, I found that that gets very dirty and then also it locks you in one gear and you can't switch between them. So, this is how you fix it. Very quickly, um, I made myself a tool to push in and out the bearing. I also have a two millimeter hex wrench. So what you wanna do is you wanna come in on the side of the larger plastic wheel, okay? And then you wanna loosen the nut that's in here, the screw. And as you can see, here's the screw. I've already done this once or twice, so there's the screw. And then inside there is a spring. So I, here's what I'm gonna take my special tool I built that I can push down. And now you can see kind of the spring showing there. It's a little silver spot right there, right here. And I'm going to use a small, a small uh, uh, glasses screwdriver to pop it out. There it is. So there's the little uh, spring. And then inside here is a bearing that I haven't been able to get out. Um, but uh, So I'm going, to, I'm going to assume it doesn't come out. And what I do is I sit here and I move the bearing around with my little tool. Add some oil in both the front and the back end. Okay. Put the spring back in. And then simply tighten the screw. Let me tighten the screw up now. You can make the screw as tight as you want it, depending on how hard you want it to lock against this pin. Okay, a couple of turns, because you want it to have some movement. You can also make your gears tighter. The tighter you make it, the harder it is to move that bearing back in, because all that's happening is that bearing is coming in like this as you're switching gears to hold it in place. So if you make it tighter, it's gonna push harder, making it, you know, making it easy, uh, lock in place or soften it so it changes easier. All right, now that I've put it back together, here's that piece one more time. Um, I just very simply, all I did was just fix it so that, that way that piece, the shifter right there in the center of the screen just moves in and out easier. Um, my tripod got damaged, so uh, right now I can't show you what it is. Well, here, let me put it down do like this. So this here now moves a lot easier, both in and out. I don't know if you can see it moving, but it moves a lot easier. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps. Take it easy, and I'll speak with you soon. Bye-bye.